Hi guys, welcome to yet another tutorial on if statement. Now today we will be discussing about the else if letter. Else if letter. Now the thing is that this is the toughest concept in C sharp. Are you scared? Really? It's not. I'm just kidding. So if else letter, right? If else letter, if else letter. So what is if else letter? It's the simple way of putting together the ifs when multipath decisions in, is involved. Now what is multipath decisions? Ooh, 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 I'm so scared. Multipath. It is simply a chain of ifs associated with else's. Got it? No? Just understand. These are multiple statements associated with multiple conditions and these conditions are evaluated on a descending order okay so when a con true condition is found the control is transferred to the statement associated with it and it is executed and when the, all the conditions are found to be false then the default condition is executed simple as that let me show you firsthand how it is done I'm so very sure this time you remember how to get into the Visual Studio ITE. It's straightforward. Go to the start button, select all program and then go to Visual Studio or otherwise for your convenience. You can just simply create a Visual Studio icon in your desktop, select it and create your project. New project, project. Check whether Visual C Sharp, Windows and Console application is selected and then give your program a name. Names given, click OK, wait for the IDE to be prepared. IDE is prepared. Now think of a program that you can make to showcase the LCF letter. I have in my mind take a mark from the user whatever mark he or she would put and on the basis of that mark we will analyze and we would say it through the program whatever his or her grade is for example the user is a student so let's declare a variable my variable would be of in type in marks now let's ask the user to put in some mark Enter your mark. All right, close it with a semicolon. You already know how to convert the variable of string type to int type. Convert dot to int thirty two to int thirty two. Console. Got read line value taken, value converted, value assigned to the variable. Now, if the statement what we are going to make the else if letter, so first, if marks greater than eighty five. Sorry, greater than 85. Console out, right line. is A. Okay, so we don't need to type much for this 
simple program what I'm going to do I am copy pasting it straightforward else if mark is greater than say 75% grade is B okay now you can add as many else if conditions as you like For example 65% then your grade will be C mark is greater than 55% then your grade is say D and if your mark is lesser than 55% or the default statement else right line what's the value and then the right line that we want to display is you have failed better luck next time using it with a small column and then we have to tell the visual studio ide to hold the screen for us right so console dot read line Okay, saving it, running it, whether it's running in a proper order or not. Enter your mark. I am entering my marks as, say, 95. My grade is A. Okay. Now you can check it as many times you want with all the conditions. For example, I am entering my mark as 45. You have failed better luck next time so our program is running in a perfect manner what's important in this program here you can notice that we have one if condition and then we have a lot many else if conditions we are checking the like uh, we're checking the probability of finding the true condition Whatever value is inserted, that value would be compared with all the conditions and then will be executed according to the true condition here. For example, if I, I, I like uh, enter the value as 68% of mark. So here it would be compared with this condition. It's greater than 65, so my grade would be C. So this is it. This is a simple else if letter and there is no rocket science involved in it. This is a very simple program. You understood it, I guess, and you can make as many programs as you want. Structure is this. Play with it. That's the way you're going to, you know, hone your skills and get smooth with the coding. All right, I told you it was not tough. Although I scared you probably in the first of the video, but yes, it's not tough. And we did a simple program in exam grading, but yes, you can perform a lot of you know complex program with the help of else if letter, and we'll be doing, I'm sure, while you'll be doing the big programs. So that's all about else if letter, and I would request you to you know practice more and more so that you can get the mastery over it, the codes, coding, and it was like the video and if you understood it let me know in the comment section and give my video a thumbs up and please visit codeswizard.com for more tutorials